but dealing with stress here, we're both very stressed in life in general. It's not healthy. And Patrick was saying something. We're ready. We're on our way to the airport. So much stress, so much stress. And he just went, oh my God, and pointed. And we saw the best dog. We always we always look for the dogs and hang out the window. What was the dog doing? He was hanging on the mirror. <laughs> he was like, and he was a small dog. He was like, uh, he was like the Danny DeVito of dogs out the window kind of dogs, right? Yeah. And he was like full on leaning out and had his left paw on the window and was just like, mm, not on the window, on the mirror. He said we. Okay. And he said we. <laughs> and so that was kind of awesome. It made my day, and I think it was a good start too. Uh, we can do Yeah. And I'm documenting this because I was not fast enough to capture the dog on camera. So please show what the dog looks like. No. Oh. My light's gonna turn. Hi. <laughs> it's cool, they decorated. <laughs> they did? Where? Show me. Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. We're trying to figure out if it's a contest. There were like lollipop lane down that way and then musical that way so we're gonna go down and find more <laughs> this one looks simple but it isn't it's googly Leg on the bed, <laughs> ready for action, jingling and everything. Cool, here we are at the hotel. We're just getting ready, uh, chillaxing in the bed, and then we're gonna go to the first semi-event, which is a running study or agility study or something with amputees and the University of Miami. Uh, what? Not me, you. Me. Well, you're coming. Well, I'm coming. I get yeah. to watch. <laughs> it's and it's actually just down the road, so I don't know. I don't know what it's going to be. It should be interesting. I'm kind of intrigued. I'm a bit nervous for this weekend because it's a lot of different physical activity things and a lot of really astounding amputees, really cool individuals. Yeah, I, I'm excited uh, for later tonight and seeing the award ceremony and all yeah. the cool people that you're like it's amazing amazing feats and they're doing it with uh, uh one less limb or or whatever than or multiple less yeah, yeah. so it's, i'm excited to see that and curious to see what the the run clinics and stuff like that look like for you yeah so. last time i did that run clinic was uh without a running leg so this will be really interesting was huh? it four years ago i don't know maybe here i think i posted four years ago but that's tomorrow Yes. Um, today, running study. It's only going to be half an hour, and then we're going to go to Encinitas to have lunch with my dad, because that's where he works with my sister. And she's in a clinic, riding clinic or something the whole weekend. So, All right, let's get to it. Oh, I forgot to hit record. Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like that face. Ah, perfect, beautiful, ah. shiny leg again. I get it in. Hey, first time! First time! Wow! Woo, <laughs> and if you think you've been harmed or injured in any way, just let us know. Just finished the running study and now we are on our way to Encinitas to have lunch with my dad at a cool vegetarian place and I was very surprised that that was much more tiring and sweat inducing than I thought it was going to be. Were you surprised at all? It was warm in there. It was warm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I didn't really know what it was going to entail but they said like like 10 minutes of stuff and filling out some survey stuff 
um, but it was cool. It was like an agility course and there were a bunch of really active amputees and I think their whole purpose was to uh, try reevaluate the amputee standards for surveys because it tends towards uh, low activity level amputees. So everyone that they had coming in was high level activity. Um, obviously some of the people there were sports people and athletes and that was really, really cool and amazing to be there amongst them and see them. Um, and I got so competitive with myself that I actually wiped out while running backwards. Um, and I remember as I was falling, I was like, no, I'm not going to beat my time. So I landed and then I jumped up and tried to keep running. And the guy was like, no, 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 you have to start over. Uh, but it was kind of actually reassuring because I'm always scared of falling. Like I feel very fragile. So it was kind of cool to wipe out um, on my tuchus, as I said it. And I'm fine, you know, like we're tough creatures humans and my body survived a lot of things and so have the other people who were participating in the study and it's it's gonna be cool so i'm really nervous for tomorrow to be around all these amazing athletes and to use my running leg in the running clinic tomorrow for the first time uh, especially because uh, i think it was two years ago or three years ago four, four years ago oh my god Four years ago. Four years ago. The other running clinic? Yeah. yeah I was a ago. little baby 32 year old. Okay, so four years ago when I went last time, there was a guy there and he got his running leg, I think it was new, and he clipped it on the grass as he was running and he did like a double forward roll. Do you remember him? So that's sort of in my mind of like, oh no. And I think about that every time when I run on pavement. And the sidewalk, like, I think about clipping the leg and just, just bite in the dirt or bite, biting the road. Like, <laughs> okay, so I'm nervous. But today was actually really fun. I'm ready to go eat some food. You? Yeah. Yeah. And we will catch up later. Ocean, 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 ocean. Hi. You're such a kid. Yay, let's go. Oh gosh. Mm. Well, that was a really awesome lunch with my dad. We went to a place called Plumeria, and I'd say it was Thai food. Uh, all vegetarian, though, like vegetarian duck, and vegetarian chicken, and tofu, and really, really delicious. Uh, my only, <laughs> my only hold up with the place was that uh, the guy manager owner i don't know insisted that my dad pay when we were arguing about who was gonna pay he insisted my dad pay because he would give it to the man and he said that if me and patrick came together that he would still give the bill to the man so i tried to express that that's antiquated that's not the way it is uh it, i was pretty chill all things considered but the food was amazing. It was really, really good. And I don't think we expected to eat that much for lunch, but also didn't expect to sweat that much before lunch. So um, now Patrick is slogging through San Diego, almost rush hour traffic. I'm gonna head back to the hotel. Oh, we also stopped at Flashbacks um, and Better Buzz. Better Buzz is delicious. They do a really nice light mocha iced coffee. And I say light so that I can pretend to myself that it's low calorie, but it's probably like 700 calories anyways, but it's delicious. Um, and so Flashbacks is this really fun, cool thrift store. It's sort of like Buffalo Exchange in Denver. I'm sure every city has one that's slightly more discerning. Uh, so they have some cool stuff. And this has been in my Amazon cart for ages and I got it for half price there. It's the darling Robin Hood plus size costume um, but it's really really cute so I've now decided what I'm wearing for night two of Ichio um, including some face paint and Patrick very almost acquired a gorilla costume because it looked somewhat like a Yeti but I think that didn't work out so yeah it's been a lovely chill different interesting day so far um, head back to the hotel get ready for the party tonight can't wait to celebrate abilities the celebration of abilities dinner um and just be inspired and see all the cool people that we're gonna see tonight hi hi we're walking to the dinner 
Yeah. It's just across the street from the hotel. Four minutes walk. Five. Awesome. Well chosen. And let's go have some fun. Yeah. Yay. Good morning. We are now departing hotel number one. We had a great time. It feels like we're here shorter because we rolled in at 1 a.m. 1 a.m. on Thursday night and basically just had yesterday. So now we get to go, well, <laughs> we get to go to the next hotel, but first we have to go to the running clinic. I'm very nervous and I'm more sore than I thought I would be from yesterday at the run study. Uh, don't know why that says, but I think I need to do some agility training at gym. Uh, so we just had breakfast, grabbed some coffee. I'm sore and nervous and ready for this. Let's do it. Welcome back to Home of Try. This is where it began. And CAF was right there from the beginning. So I'm excited. Uh, like I'm poster at CAF. We hope that this can be an incredibly important part of getting you back to activity. Go! Pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. Okay, so it's halfway, taking a break right now. I was crazy nervous, but I'm feeling really good. I have not fallen yet. I <laughs> I've been waiting for it to happen, but I just, I forgot that it was going to be such a supportive, amazing environment that's built for people like me who have challenges and want to be active. Uh, so like, I feel like crying. It's been really great and I'm ready for the next half. <laughs> Good morning again. So Liv is behind me somewhere learning how to run with her new running legs. So that's really cool. I know she was super nervous about it, but they have some really good volunteers and instructors to, to help learn how to use a running leg. And they're teaching kids from like three years old on up to adults. So it's like all ages, all abilities. And I think what today is all about is determination and smiles. It's so cool to see the determination, kids and adults alike, learning how to run, learning how to be active, learning um, how to get back that mobility that they may have lost. And then when they get the, the and then when they get it down, it's, it's nothing but smiles. And it's smiles from the kids, smiles from the adults, uh, smiles from the moms and dads and brothers and sisters. So it's really fun being out here. It's really great seeing the determination. It's very inspiring to see uh, how hard people are trying and how much fun they're having. So it's really cool. And I'm, uh, I'm going to go watch some more and get some more photos and videos. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> What's your name? Thank you, 
We just got to hotel number two. <laughs> it's actually a motel converted from something else. It's a one star, which I guess is because it has, uh, it's lacking a certain number of amenities. But one of the amenities that I didn't expect it to have was a massage chair, which I'm currently in. <laughs> I've never been in a hotel, motel, holiday inn, anything. That has a massage chair. This is amazing. <laughs> and no one said this on the Google reviews, did they? I didn't see this. Wouldn't that have been incentive? <laughs> so, running clinic this morning, um, run study yesterday, in which I wiped out and have a bruise took it. So, I'm, I'm very glad for this thing. I'm ready for more tomorrow. Hi. For you, still. Hi. <laughs>